opening speech. May I please welcome Mr. Zheng Wen, a counselor of culture from the People's Republic of China, Embassy to South Africa. Thank you. I would like to represent the Embassy of China as well as the Consulate General of China. Uh, to pass a real congratulation to the grand opening of this successful event. In these rooms around us, in the horseshoe shape of the compound, 300 men were kept uh, sleeping on wooden bunks, or concrete bunks, uh, with, with very little human dignity. Uh, the site as a whole, these buildings uh, were declared as a heritage site in 1996. I think it's very, very important that we think about the significance of this place. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased also to welcome all of you to the South African and Chinese cross-cultural exhibition. Now, some people may, may ask, they may wonder, why host an exhibition with Chinese art here at the Workers' Museum? The first thing to say is, actually, the Chinese people are not strangers to this part of the world. The Chinese immigrants began arriving in South Africa in the late 1800s, from 1870 onwards coming mostly from the southern province of Guangdong. In Johannesburg, uh, the first Chinese community began around 1891, just a few years after Johannesburg began, with the arrival of Chinese traders who set up shop just up the road from here, to the south, just a few blocks from here. They made their home there in the area of Pereira's town, which was often called Malay Kam, from Malay Kam, or sometimes uh, the newspapers and people uh, called it also the Cantonese Quarter. So that's just, just a stone's throw from here. Now, many of the workers, the migrant workers who came to Johannesburg, with black people from all over Southern Africa, 
those are the people who lived in this compound, some of them. But people sometimes forget there were also Chinese migrant workers in Johannesburg. From 1904, nearly 64,000 Chinese people came here to work underground in the mines, the gold mines of the Witwatersrand. Run. They were here for a couple of years, but from 1907 up till 1910, they were shipped back to China. Almost all of those people returned to their homes. But it's important that we have a shared history, which we should, we should remember and we should recognize. We are also concerned to build a shared future. And that can be very much enriched by the arts and culture which we are celebrating here today. Now coming to the art exhibition, many exhibitions have a kind of a sameness about them. They can become closed. The exhibition feels to me very free very open and actually very democratic. It showcases a whole variety of art from the two countries. What you can see here represents different traditions, different themes and different approaches. It goes from the traditional to the contemporary. The artists are not limited to any one category. They are Chinese, they are African. They cross the generations from young to old. Some are emerging artists, others are more established. But they've come together in a cultural exchange which is about sharing. It's about stretching boundaries and it's about moving beyond cultural stereotypes. This exhibition carries a message of our shared humanity and such projects are important in helping to break down barriers and xenophobia. We should build on this in order to strengthen our ties and to build our understanding and appreciation of one another. And I just want to end with a, a piece of traditional wisdom from Africa. It's an, an African proverb and it says, if you want to travel fast, then go alone. But if you want to travel far, then travel together. That's what we're doing here today. So thank you very much. Thank you. Some of our former students who are at Artist Proof Studios uh, currently exhibiting their works, uh, which is giving me a lot of inspiration right now. And I'm currently looking at a book by Rene Lin, who's one of our facilitators at our school. Uh, just to read a lot of statement, and it's quite deep, so I'm motivated by it. What do you think are the relations between China and Africa? Um, I think we are good friends uh, for a long time, uh, from, the, from the 60s. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, 
it straight down and shit. You feel what you're trying to tell. Okay, and um, how do you view um, South Africa as a country? Uh, South Africa. South Africa. It's a very uh, nice country because I stayed in the England for seven years, so I found out a lot of things here. It was quite the same as in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, it's not a very strange country for me, although this is my first time in South Africa. Um, I think from African powers, those, those are South African powers. Yeah, those ones there. Um, I think I can feel the nature uh, instincts from those artworks. Um, images are actually photos from my, from my family so um, this work is just a tribute to my family and to my culture and it speaks about like the, the mothers and the like, women and children that were affected during the war and um, so yeah the work is just a tribute to my family and to my culture as an Afrikaner. The images um, are all images that I collected from family members that um, some of them live in Cape Town and some in Pretoria. So it took me a while to actually get the images together. And um, this image, for instance, my great grandmother wrote down um, like in pen our family names, like um, common family names that we still use today. So um, it's actually printmaking techniques that I've used to get the image, transfer the image onto the glass and then the glass has been fired so the image is fixed onto the glass and um, yeah, so I guess it shows the seriousness but also um, kind of a playfulness, you know, that, you know, being a child in that time and you know, growing up during that time.
And then right here in Newtown, we we'll have you all. China, 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 listen up, baby. I'm the king of the Georgia tribe. Zoro Tarabsa. One love, oneness, unity. Right. No xenophobic attacks. Yo, yes, yes, who are the people? Right? Okay, yeah. you know, Chinese, they want African drums because they do Tai Chi sometimes. Art and culture. They must think about it, man. Yes, I give yeah, respect. Yeah, to, to the upgrade the artists. You know, Take for the benefit the of the Yeah, for the give. benefit of the nation. You are man. playing a very important part in the economy, you know. Yeah, you are, we you are. are. Go, 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 go.